What's up guys, Heat King here, bringing you some Boruto news. So yeah, I haven't done a video like this in ages, but I thought, hey, why the hell not, right? It's been a long time, might as well get cracking on this. So before I start guys, remember to like and subscribe. And yeah, Boruto, the anime. So the code arc has finally been, been uh, it's been confirmed to be coming next year in February. Um, we're going to be finishing up the current arc, which I believe, which I, I I could be wrong, but I believe this is supposed to be the code acutation arc, which is sort of like the prologue leading up to the code arc, similar to what we had with the Kara arc uh, back in 2020 and then in 20... Sorry, guys, the camera cut off there for a second. Uh, it's going to keep cutting off because this camera doesn't work properly anymore. I need to get a new camera. But yeah, code the code arc is happening next year in February. So... Yeah, we got, we got a few more episodes left for the uh, current arc, which I believe is the Code Acutation arc. And then after that, we're getting an adaptation of the Sasuke Retsuden arc, uh, which is also, which is a light novel that was then adapted into a manga that we're getting now, like every two weeks. So we're on chapter five now, I believe. So I think that's going to be short. I think that's only going to be a few chapters long. I'm assuming it's going to end around the time uh, the uh, new anime, the anime starts. So I, I, we probably got two or three chapters left until that ends. Unless they're trying to make it a volume, in which case maybe ten chapters, but we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, apparently we're getting a we're gonna be getting the cold arc in February. So, but the arc in the manga is not over yet, and that's the thing. So, what's going on with with the manga and the schedules and that? And when is the series actually gonna end? So, one of the creators, I don't I don't remember if this was the original writer or the original artist, but they said that they wanted to aim for 30 volumes. Right now, currently, we are on a volume. I believe we're on volume, let me see. Yeah, we're on volume 20 right now. Uh, we started volume 20 this month with chapter 76, and it'll end in March 2023. The cold arc is starting in February 2023, and currently we are 21 chapters into the arc. And uh, just for comparisons, the uh, Kawaki arc, if you include the Ao and Kara arc in the manga, altogether, that was about 40 chapters. That was that equaled amount of basically 10 volumes. Right now, we're about five volumes in, I believe, with the cold arc. And it, it only feels like we're halfway through. So there's probably going to be a lot of chapters left. A lot of people are assuming this is going to end ne in, you know, ne at the end of uh, this next volume, I guess. Or maybe next month or next or two months or whatever. No, I think this arc, the cold arc, is probably going to go up all the way till the end of 2023. And the next arc isn't going to start until 2024. Which means that when we get the adaptation of the cold arc in the anime in February, it's only going to adapt probably halfway, half of the arc from the manga. And then we're going to get a bunch of anime canon episodes. And then the arc is going to resume when there's enough manga material to adapt from. So is 20 is tw with the current chapters that we've got is that enough for episodes? It, each chapter is like about 40 pages long, so that equals about an episode. I don't I don't I can't see them uh, taking a lot of the dialogue heavy episodes and chopping up into like you know throwing it all together into one episode. I imagine that's going to be a very long episode. So I think we I think we got a, about roughly about 15 to maybe 20 episodes of manga. Uh, material to to have i think for next year but that like i said that means we're probably going to get extensions anime canon material regarding Ida and damon so yeah i do i do see that happening as for the cold arc like i said i in the manga i think it's going to end in 2023 at the very end at least and then that's going to lead into the time skip because yeah the manga is supposed to end with 30 volumes and i've done a schedule here that gives us a good idea of what what volumes we're going to be getting etc etc and how many chapters in total we would have you know if we if we get 30 volumes so volume 20 which consists of a chapter 76 to 79 would be from december from now till march next year volume 21 chapters 80 to 83 that would be from april to july volume 22 would be from august to november which would consist of chapters 84 and 87 now that is my guess where the cold arc is going to end it's going to end with volume 22 it's going to end around chapter 87 or close to it so yeah i still think we got at least a total of three volumes for this arc left before it finishes and then we're going to go into the next arc with volume 23 
And if they are serious about this ending with 30 volumes, that would mean that we have 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. That's eight volumes that we would have. And roughly stating uh, the last chapter would be in July, you know, without any breaks. If we don't get any breaks or any high tiers, the, the last chapter would be July 2026 with chapter nine, 119. Of course, I've added 120 there, meaning August, because I feel like they'd want to even up the numbers, you know, like we had 700 chapters, well, we get 120 chapters with this. So, yeah, that's what I'm thinking is going to happen. I think this series would likely end in August 2026, as long as that is the uh, end point and the actual plan. Otherwise, best case scenario, it's going to get extended to maybe 35 volumes, in which case the series is probably going to go on a bit longer than expected. Properly putting it, ending it around 2028 and not 2026, which means the anime is going to go on a bit longer, which means we're going to get more anime canon, which... You know, I'm I'm a fan of. I don't mind the anime canon. A lot of the anime canon arcs have been very good. Some of the standalone episodes have been good, but recent ones, mainly the uh, uh, Land of Water slash Fantu uh, clan arc, was not done well. Very poor animation. Very poor uh, artwork. Very poor storytelling. And then, of course, we had the Himawari Academy arc, and then now we have the recent uh, Squid Game-inspired arc, which have been, I think, really good. They, they were fine. They're not great, but they're good. I'm enjoying them. I'm having more fun with those short uh, episodes that consist of, what, like 13 episodes, compared to the 25-episode uh, arc that we got with the Phantom Clan arc, which was just disappointing from beginning to end. But yeah, I think this is going to go on for a while. Like the Cold Arc is going to get adapted next year, but it's only going to get adapted halfway. And then Anime Canon up until I guess 2023 and then 20, probably the end, the very end of 2023 or beginning of 2024, we're going to resume the Cold Arc and finish that up and then go back into more original Anime Canon material to lead up to the next arc. The hope is, the prediction is we get the time skip at the end of this year. We get to the end of whatever arc we're doing with Cold, and then we get the time skip, and then boom, we're like sort of like into part two of Boruto. That is the prediction, that is the hope, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. And this is just me doing a video to let you guys know to, you know, stand fast and uh, expect the unexpected in this case, you know, because a lot of people are assuming, yeah, we're getting, we're getting the manga canon material adapted, you know, that's going to be out for the rest of the year, and it's like, no. With the way things are going, it's definitely not going to be the case. Like, we're definitely going to be ending at a stopping point, And then we're going to be getting a bunch of anime canon episodes before we continue with the cold arc uh, canon-wise again. So, you know, keep your expectations... Uh, what's the word for it? Keep your expectations checked, like. Because you're probably going to get very disappointed with how they're going to handle this. But yeah, uh, I'm curious to see where this goes. I'm curious to see how it ends. Uh, and I hope the future of Boruto is high. I mean... I, like I said, I've been enjoying the anime. It could be better. It could be better, but it's it's a different story. It's a different time period to what we had to go through with Naruto and Shippuden. So the way the story is going is very understandable. Plus, I like the world building and I like the character development that we do get occasionally. And obviously, when they do adapt the manga material, it is fire. But, you know, this whole hate that we have on, on this series, like, oh, this is filler and that's filler. Filler technically doesn't exist, okay? It's, it's, it's always been a case of... For me, it's always been a case of, is the arc good and does it do a good job of building up the world and the characters and leading to things going forward? In which case, I consider a lot of the anime canon arcs in Boruto canon. And then, of course, you have arcs like the Chocho arc, which is like three episodes long, but that's technically filler. Yeah, we, we see that she's got the butterfly mode, but... You know, the, the overall story that we get with that is meh. It doesn't really add anything. It doesn't really do anything for the bigger story going forward. Whereas some of the other arcs that we got, like the Stone arc, the Urashiki arc, um, the Kara Akutation arc, you know, that all came together in that Pacific arc leading up into the actual Kawaki Kara arc. And that was brilliant. More stuff like that, please. I would like to see more stuff like that. And I'm hoping, obviously, with all the introduction of these newer characters that we're getting in these recent arcs, we see them in the future, rather big or small. Otherwise, it's just sort of pointless, do you know what I mean, getting all these new characters and not doing anything with them. But, uh, you know, fingers crossed that we get something great going forward. Uh, for those of you curious, by the way, uh, we are 24 arcs in into the Boruto series. So there's a lot of arcs here um, split up between, you know, 
standalones and obviously the the, the ongoing arc ones. But uh, yeah, I'm curious to see where it goes. I'm curious to see where it goes. You know, people like to complain, and I get, I get, you want the manga stuff, but this is a monthly manga. Okay, it's not going to be like Naruto or Shippuden where it was adapting weekly chapters. This is a monthly one, and the wait for these is always going to be long. So, it is what it is. But you know, here's hoping, fingers crossed, that the series does come to an end soon. 2026 hopefully 30 volumes and it doesn't drag itself out otherwise we're just going to be watching a whole lot of anime canon episodes 24 7 but he, you know the bit the bit the, be the best thing to hope for is that they're good you know so personally i want to see some interesting stuff like i want to see an arc set in the hidden cloud village with killer b i want to see an arc with uh you know sakura giving birth to sarada or marrying sasuke and going on the honeymoon i want to see arcs like that i want to see arcs with some of the older characters more but uh, it is what it is. Like I say, it is what it is. But that's just my thoughts on this. Yeah, don't expect like 2023 just to be constant anime canon episodes, uh, manga canon episodes. It's it's going to be a mix. It's going to be half and half, I believe. That's what I think is going to happen. Or, you know, surprise, surprise, and the manga arc does actually end very soon next year, which would be unexpected. Uh, but because of the amount of stuff that they're teasing and setting up, I feel like it's going to go a bit longer. So, yeah. Anyway, that's my thoughts for it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, remember to like and subscribe. And I shall see you when I shall see you. Take care and bye.